Hello, welcome to the PCM Tech Help Show. I am your host, Craig Chamberlain, and this is episode 14 of the Faster XP 2012 series. Whoa, sorry, I was looking at my notes over here. They're over here. Of the Faster XP 2012 series, which debuts every Monday at 10 a.m. Eastern, and we're going to show you how to supercharge your Windows XP machine. I know it's old, but let's make it go fast. Fast and old. And show it off to all your friends. It'd be like a Cadillac. And you'd be like, man, check this. It's classic. Windows XP is classic. It's not old. It's it's classic. Okay. So now that I've done my little stupid rant, let's uh, talk about cleaning and optimizing and defragmenting your Windows XP registry. This is a tip that I like to show people because not many people actually talk about defragmenting the registry. The reason I like to defragment the registry because in my opinion, it'll speed up your actual boot times of your system. It's kind of a hidden tool, so it's a fun one to talk about. It's hidden and glare utilities. Now, if you haven't watched this video before, or haven't watched any of my videos before, Glary Utilities is available at my website. That's at pcmtechhelp.com, and it's going to be slash downloads. It looks like it'll actually redirect you to this whole little 2011, 11, 02, or whatever the directory might be. But just slash downloads will work. And you're going to scroll down here to the system tuning section and click Glary Utilities to download it. And again, you can also down, you know, actually, you know, download the, uh, oh, that's right, Google it. If you don't want to download from my website, you can Google it. Now, I'm using Internet Explorer, by the way, because I'm in a future video to talk about speeding up browsing, so don't judge me. Please, don't judge me. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. Let's open up Glary Utilities, okay? I'm going to open it up here, and uh, we're going to look at the registry defragmentation. Now, here it is. Just go to clean up and repair. No, no, no. Not clean up and repair. Go to optimize and improve. Then you will select registry defrag. Click next and select attention. Records that no programs are running. So... We're going to cancel this out. We're going to the bottom right-hand corner here, and we have a virus running. I'm going to right-click on it, and I'm going to say, actually, it looks like it's already disabled. So we're good. So let's go ahead and click Next. Select OK, and it's going to scan over and analyze my registry. Okay, And that's going to show you a size difference, which I'm less concerned about actually saving disk space, and I am more concerned with actually defragmenting and putting all the files together. Because remember, when Windows boots up, uh, we talked about fragmentation in another video. Fragmentation is, you can have multiple files, or you can have one, okay, with one file like Craig.exe, I think that's the one I used. Craig.exe might be one file, but the pieces and parts are all over your hard drive, okay? So when you call up to request that file, Windows has an index, and it goes out and grabs all those little pieces, puts them together, and does what it needs to do, okay? Defragmentation is taking all those little pieces and parts and putting them back together. So that's what we're doing with the registry defrag as well. We're taking all the different files that are stored in the registry and all the pieces that are scattered all over the place, and we're putting them all together, looking nice and clean. As you can tell, I have a little bit of OCD. It's not very healthy. My wife, I probably drive her crazy. But anyways, after we've brought up this screen, you just need to click Next. And it says, are you sure? We gotta restart the computer in order for optimization to take place. I'm gonna give you guys a little treat here. I can actually restart because I'm running this Windows XP in a virtual machine. So hopefully it's still recording. I don't see why it wouldn't be. But we're re restarting right now and I'm gonna show you what happens when you actually do the registry optimization. So that way you can actually kind of witness firsthand how this registry cleaner works. And that way you don't freak out if it starts doing it to your system which wouldn't be good. Like I said, defragmentation is a great, great way of optimizing your system. Uh, it doesn't make as much of a difference on like solid state drives. This is what I was telling the people in the previous video. But uh, it still does an awesome job if you're running a standard drive. Most of us aren't running solid state drives anymore, especially on Windows XP. So there it goes, it boots back up. Windows registry was optimized successfully. And we are done. That's how you optimize your Windows XP registry. This is yet another little tip to throw in your little repertoire for optimizing Windows XP. And I want to thank you guys for stopping by and checking out the Faster XP 2012 series, which again debuts every Monday morning at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, so stay tuned. And also don't forget to subscribe on YouTube, like and comment on this video. You can follow me on Facebook. You can follow me on Twitter. You can follow, like our page on Facebook. You can invest in me in Empire Avenue. You can add me to your circles on Google+. You can... You can do all kinds of social networking. You can clout me on clout. Whatever social network you got, I guarantee you I got some lame, awesome profile there. So thanks for stopping by. And again, keep supporting the show. I appreciate it. Oh, and swing by the techies. You can become a free PCM techie at the website. I'll give you free unlimited tech support. And that's where I kind of live. So thanks again.